Hey, Troy here with Big BB LLC. Uh, just checking in to show you part two of the Ivor Johnson shotgun restoration. After many hours of it soaking, um, oil, penetrating oil, WD-40, everything I can think of, I finally got the pins out. I got the hammer and the trigger out. Trigger guard off. A couple of them broke, which I will have to go ahead and tap them out and drill and tap them out. That's no problem. Another day in the life of a gunsmith, right? Anyway, so the 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 receiver is bare, so I'll get that tapped out and drilled out and get everything good to go with that. I'll get it uh, sandblasted, ready for coating and whatever else I plan on doing with that. Um, there you go, there's the hammer. Not in the best shape, still rusty and... Let me see what I got here. There's the, uh, the lever to uh, open the action. I've got to drill and tap that out. There's the uh, locking the uh, locking piece that locks the uh, the barrel in when you snap it closed and opens when you flip the lever and of course you got the trigger and as you see I gotta drill that pin out um, yeah when you let stuff rust and you let stuff get neglected there's a lot of stuff that it just seizes it breaks you just gotta kinda put up with it Gunsmithing is one of those things that it takes a little bit of patience sometimes, and even then you still break stuff. How you deal with that break is what separates the good ones from the bad ones, all right? So once again, this is an erase. It's, I'm going to do this, let's do it right. It ain't worth doing unless you're doing right. <clears throat> but that's what it looks like right now with all the stuff out. Like I said, this is part two. And... Um, I'm assuming this thing's going to start picking up because if you see right there, you see those white bags in that yellow bin? That's a stock and a forearm and a barrel for this guy right here um, and a few other parts that I'm going to need to put this all back together. So I actually found some stuff that will work, um, that will fit. And so I'm actually excited to start this train rolling again. But like I said, I still can't do that until I get everything in here fixed and uh settle down, um, see what screws that I'm going to need that broke. I might actually have them up there, and I might not. So i got to go through all those parts and see what I do and don't have. I was able to find about 90% of the parts that I needed. So that's a good thing. So yeah, like I said, just checking in. Showing you the progress on this. This is my part two. Hopefully my part three video and subsequent videos after that will be closer together now that I'm not waiting so long for this thing to soak and do whatever it needs to do and still breaking stuff on it so but uh, anyway y'all stay safe shoot straight and then hopefully I will see you again on part three when this thing is starting to look like a receiver again All right we'll see y'all later